we're going to check out the indicator section of the TradingView platform and add the Donchian channel improved to the chart. But before we start trading, we need to tweak the indicator a bit. So go to add settings and change some things. To go long with this indicator alone, we need to wait for a candle to break above the top line of the DC indicator. On the other hand, to go short with the DC indicator, we need to wait for the candles to break below the bottom line of the DC indicator. The indicator we're using is cool, but it can mess up when the market is flat. To fix that, we need another indicator called Larry Williams Large Trade Index. So let's add it to the chart. And now, let's tweak its settings to match it with the first indicator. The LWTI indicator has a colored line and a 50 level. This will help us filter out bad signals. Here's how it works. When the LWTI line is green and above 50, it means we can go long. And when the line is red and below 50, it means we can go short. Look at this chart. We see a bearish breakout that tells us to sell. But the LWTI line is green and above 50. That's a big no-no. We ignore the signal and move on. The next chart is the same story, another bearish breakout, another green LWTI line and another signal we don't trust, we're smarter than that. Remember what I said about the volume indicator? It doesn't count as one of the two indicators we can use on the trading view, that's awesome right? So let's add it to the chart and see what it tells us. But you're not done yet. After you put it on the chart, you gotta tweak it a little to make it play nice with the other two indicators.
Now here's the deal. When the volume indicator pops a green bar above the 30 period MA, that's a solid thumbs up for buying. And when it pops a red bar above the 30 period moving average, that's a solid thumbs up for selling. So here's the scoop. To get in on a long trade, you need three things. First, a bullish breakout has to happen. Then, the LWTI indicator line has to be green and above the 50 level. And last but not least, the volume indicator has to back up with the buy signal with a green bar above the moving average line. So if all these things line up, then you can go for it and open a long position. The stop loss level would be the DC indicator metal line. And to get out of the trade, aim for the target one and a half times bigger than the stop loss. And on the Phillips side, to get in on a short trade, you need three things. First, a bearish breakout has to happen. Then the LWTI indicator line has to be red and below the 50 level. And last but not least, the volume indicator has to back up the sell signal with a red bar above the moving average line. So if all these things line up, then you can go for it and open a short position. The stop loss level would be the DC indicator metal line. And to get out of the trade, aim for the target of one and a half times bigger than the stop loss. But if you are still clueless about how to rack in the cash with a scalping strategy and you don't have much trading know-how, then you can't miss this awesome video.